She was here. She was here a while back. She is at Country 49. She's a travel enthusiast. She's an environmentalist. She is out there aiming to conquer, travel, see, experience 197 countries. Welcome back to the show, one boy. Thank you so much. And you look lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> you too. You look really good. Thank you. So today we we really experienced your journey as you know as a travel enthusiast and your what you're doing with even uh, creating awareness and how you're big on education while you're doing all of these things why why you're here today is how to help us you see me <laughs> i think <laughs> okay fine <laughs> <laughs> with tips on how to save when i want to travel so it looks very beautiful when the last time you were here you saw the comments and everything oh my god i want to do that how easy is that the questions came in how is she able to do all of that so it was important for us to just talk to you how you um save up how you plan and maybe give us a few tips on that all right i think uh, that's the question that i get most of the time yes and i understand it yeah because for me also the recognition of the grand task that it was to travel that much yes. also gave me a bit of fear because it's not that i'm so rich and i have so much resources and even with those who have resources resources are always limited so I think the biggest factor was to understand, okay, how do you section it so that it doesn't look such a daunting task, you okay. know? Because even the lady that was here just before, she talked about how, and people struggling, the finance aspect comes in as the first thing. That's and true. in life, it comes up all the time. So there's no goal that will come up where finances will not come up, that right? That is true. So if you want to build a house, finances come you in. have to plan for that yes businesses finance coming yes. too yeah. so then it's right about deciding okay what is the magnitude of the travel experience that mm -hmm. you want to experience and so understanding that the why will now get the how okay you know so, so why do you want to do it that should be the first question exactly. I ask myself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because if, say, someone wants to, say, uh, travel 20 countries before they are 40, for example, yes. then that's a different type of planning process from someone who wants to do the whole of 197. Someone who wants to experience just maybe five countries in a year in uh, a space, uh, say, for example, in West Africa, that's a different plan from someone who wants to go and experience Fiji and those kind of countries. The planning process changes depending on what and why and where. Right. Oh, wow. okay. So, so I think that thinking process is very important, mm -hmm. and I think the daunting bit of it also with travel is that our mindset looks at travel as luxury. Yes. Right. So That's it's not true. a basic need, mm -hmm. and so you can save up for food and shelter and clothing, but then travel, travel looks like something that is so removed. Yeah. That when I get like a jackpot, when I win the lottery, maybe I'll just <laughs> fix it in there. You know what I mean? So it's I not know. something that comes to the, and it's if it does, it's not. For many people exactly yeah exactly and I again I understand because say for ex environment is a big factor of how we our mindset is shaped for example someone born in Belgium will not think probably about the same factors because EU has the Schengen countries yes. Schengen countries and therefore and uh, it's probably only a bus ride away Yet in Kenya and Tanzania, we also have the East Africa community, which is also Tanzania and Rwanda and Burundi are also just bus rides away. Yeah. So it's not as that expensive. The mindset just has to shift so that you can look at travel as accessible to you. When you look also at yourself in the mirror and when you see all these other people that come in yeah. and they're tourists, you can see yourself also doing that. Mm -hmm. And so I think, first of all, mindset is the biggest thing and then planning is the other thing. And what I recognize with tips is that I have always seen that research yeah. will save you the most money. Ah, if okay. you know what's available because here, uh, if someone is coming here and they imagine that um, Uber is the only form of transportation that or Lyft or whatever, it will be very expensive. Yeah. Yet you can catch a job for 20 bob yep. or 50 bob mm -hmm. or 100 bob and mm -hmm. be right on with it, right? Yeah. So the budgeting around uh, traveling, if someone was coming in maybe from the UK, wants to travel into Nairobi and Kenya, and if they don't understand that there are different ways that you can travel around, they will imagine tra um, uh, 
traveling out here to be very expensive. Mm. But it doesn't have to be that expensive. That's true. Again, there are so many options now. It's 2021, yes. things are different. We have Airbnb, we have different backpackers. Uh, backpackers, yeah. we have hostels. Yes. This is something I did not know about, by the way. What? That there are hostels that are actually very good and yes. they are way cheaper than anything else. Mm. And I remember being in Germany and being a bit stuck with accommodation mm -hmm. and then realizing there was something called hostels way later and I was like did I pay all that much and I should I could have paid this you much. know and I could have paid this and much. they're not there to sleep you know what I mean and like I just <laughs> I know. you know that is something that it's people not, need I to will understand. sleep when I come back home but <laughs> exactly. I just need to lay down exactly and then wake up and continue exactly so it doesn't have to be very expensive exactly mm -hmm. and then that is the the kind of mindset you need to have or cultivate so that it's a trade-off between experiences yeah. and expenses mm. what are you there for if you're a person who wants to go big you want to experience maybe 16 countries at a go then you know you have to trade off some luxury for some experiences That's you know true. resources are always going to be limited mm -hmm. and there's always something you, c you can do to live you know a diff and and also with that mindset thing uh, it really helps you to view some mishaps and things that are uh, beyond some something that you'd have imagined as experiences and adventure and you learn to enjoy them i'll give you an example okay in um, central america i mm -hmm. remember when i started doing the airbnb and the cheaper hotels and at some point hostels. I remember um, going into a bathroom and there was a sign that I shouldn't, I don't know how far I should go with this, but I, sh I shouldn't, when I do my business, I shouldn't throw the tissue paper into the toilet. Yes. So I'm like, where is it supposed to go? What is that? Oh. What is this culture, man? Where, and they, they say throw it in the bin. Oh, I so think there's I've a bean that full of other media. people's mm -hmm. things. I know. I'm like, this is not what we do back <laughs> This is crazy, you know? <laughs> and so you have to be in that mindset of just, be like, oh, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not, it's not that big yeah. of a deal. And then you have a better time just accepting different cultures. And the trade-off is between that. Of course, if you go to a JW Marriott where you're paying 25000 a night or 30000 a night, it's going to be a different experience. Yes. So I think it's that trade-off between you know experiences and then the expenses what how far can your money take you yeah you know and uh, when you talked about research because I think all of this uh, comes down to that then you're able to know what are the you know most affordable means of travel when you get there um, knowing different places like how long it will take you from one point to another or the sites that you want to go and see so when you know that did you have anybody on ground that would help you with that well I remember were you t was it you when you got stuck I think in Germany because of language as well mm -hmm. not not in Germany because of language maybe it was someone else but yeah. I got stuck somewhere and I had to have a friend bail me too um, most of these things um, I, I got stuck, first of all, in Barbados and someone had to bail me. I like how you're thinking. I think you're almost ready to travel, Mukali, like, you know, long-term travel. Let's do this. <laughs> the way you're thinking about things, that's exactly how you do it, how, mm -hmm. how, how you networked. Networks are a big thing also in terms of planning. You have high school friends who finished and went yes. to, to live somewhere different. Mm -hmm. When I got to um, um, Helsinki in Finland, a friend of mine who had lastly seen that last day of high school called me up and she was like, oh yeah, we can actually book a, a, a cruise and come through to Stockholm directly to see me. And I was like, what? Is that possible? That is amazing, yeah. you see? And so networks can really help you, first of all, have better experiences, save you so much money, because I think that cruise cost, um, for five people, I think we paid around 150 euros. For five people, meaning me and her and her kids. And we had a grand time. You know, yes. and that's something if you were to think about it in a different forum, if you don't know about it, you just can't experience it. You can't it. experience it. You know, I was probably going to take a flight, which is too expensive, will not give me the same experiences. First of all, I had never been on a cruise before. I mean, these are things that with research and with networking and networking and people, people are the best resource. Michaeli. That's true. People are the best. They say thing. you're as rich as your contacts. I agree. Yeah, I agree. So that is the I, I'm picking up, guys. I hope you guys are. I hope you're picking up this things um research look for cheaper options and the money bit of it say for example because you your intention is out there we all know what one boy wants to do yes do you save up or do this research 
one whole time or do you say you know i'm gonna go out for like maybe two months and this is what i will do i will cover this and this it may not be the 197 but it might be more than what i did before do you just you know save up research for just that or do you want to just go out and maliza after corona is done ah it would be very hard for me to do that first of all just because of how we are placed with our visa processes yes. it is just impossible mm -hmm. you can't i can't say oh i'm going now to europe and finish all the countries because my visa can only my my passport can only allow me to cover some countries and yes. then some i cannot do mm -hmm. and so and then other than that there's the psychological aspect of things it will tire you out uh, the love languages i need touch from time to time you know yes, i mean you, you you need to come back home and hug a friend or something yes. and so at some point i feel i can only do maybe three to four months or yes. six months at a go mm -hmm. and then after that i need to come back home okay and also it helps with the financial aspect of things to face things out and how i have done it in the past is was now the 49 which feels like a quarter and so i can maybe do another quarter and then come back okay. and then do another quarter and come back but what i do not give myself pressure with is a timeline i know i can't do this forever but i also would not want to give myself that timeline because stressing myself about it with some things is just going to be a bit hectic yes it yes. will be mm -hmm. it will be so and when you travel there's also something about you know being alone you need to be able to be your own company <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because um, the people who travel as couples works perfectly for them. Do you travel alone or do you travel with, you know, a loved one? Oh, man, I wish. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, my see, God. I just say a loved I one. I see. Loved and then one. for alone, you're like alone or a loved alone, one. Come know. on. Even for alone, you should have some vibe to it. There's something there. Okay. okay. Alone? <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah, I uh -huh. do alone. And I also, I, I do alone and it's, it makes sense because I wouldn't want to put the burden of traveling 197 countries to oh, someone who, else. who, yeah, if they, they might love me, but that might not be their goal. So it's okay if they can join me for one trip, uh, one country here and there, but then I'd, I would not want to load them with that burden and they have their own life and their own goals like that. And so I, I also feel like also with um, that whole mindset thing, you need to be a bit flexible. So um, it helps if you're solo traveling you know and if say for example you know your mission is to try and do this much by this this time um if you're with someone who doesn't necessarily necessarily have the same goal yeah. of course you're going to be stressing them yes and so it just makes sense for this to be a solo type of mission you know but uh of course if you know Maramojambili, mm. tattoo. Next time you come here, because I have a <laughs> feeling you will come here, we'll talk about the relationship that you've made along the way. Yeah. And you know, something. <laughs> okay, Mikali, I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> but I think if you keep coming back here, next time you'll find somebody here. I'll be like, I went. Mm. I am going, gone, gone, mm -hmm. gone. Uh, no, not not doing that to you guys. Okay. Thank you for coming on, boy. How Thank can people so get much. in touch with you with all their questions and, you know, for you to help them plan their travels? I think you do that, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, reaching out to me on Instagram has worked in the past. So Wamboy Gichobi on Instagram um, and all social media sites, um, well, not all, Facebook generally and Instagram, but Instagram is where I am at. DM me. I will respond to all comments. I will respond to all DMs. My mission is to make people feel like travel is accessible to all of them. Which you are doing. I hope so. Every time you sit there, I feel like I can do it. And then I don't see her for two weeks, then I'm not so sure. <laughs> then I need to see her again. <laughs> I agree. I'll be happy to come back. Okay. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali.